Hello and welcome to Making Alexa Skills with Python. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to handle slots. Um, this is actually part six of a multi-part video about how to make an Alexa skill with Python. Let's see, get this set up here, all right. And we are gonna be talking about handling slots. Um, think about slots a bit like variables. Um, not a perfect analogy, but it's better than, better than nothing. <laughs> Let's create a slot in the skill builder. So first we're gonna create a new intent called lucky number intent, as you can see here. Uh, we're in the skill builder and we've created the lucky number intent. We're gonna create and, create and uh, make an utterance. So uh, is lucky number, oh, sorry, is number lucky? And notice this bl brackets there. Yeah, let's go back. Um, that's gonna be uh, the variable. So the, let's see. So we've got is luck number lucky, and we're gonna assign it a number slot here. So these are the slot intents. And what we're gonna do here is, the intent is to say to the skill, is some number lucky? So is 13 lucky? And then it will give us some kind of answer. Um, so, but, so what we want to do is just have this be a variable that can be almost like a Mad Libs, where this number is just going to be a number in the slot, and it's kind of just, Mad Libs is a great example. And one way we can help is by assigning it a slot type. Helps um, Alexa kind of figure out what the person said. If it knows looking for a number, it's a lot easier to figure out. It, it understands the context. Think about it um, for yourself when maybe you're having a conversation with someone. It, it, the context helps a lot to be able to under, understand what they're saying if, they're, if it's a loud environment or a lot of people are talking around you. Um, and then we're gonna add uh, the new intent to the intent router that we saw before. And that is gonna be the lucky number intent. And then we're gonna make a lucky number intent function. Um, and so this is what the, remember that previously we had those nested dictionaries um, this is what's going to look like when it's returned to, when someone uses that intent, this is what's going to be given to us in that event data. So here's the intent, and there is a slots key here, and there's a number, like we made earlier, it's got a name of number, and then a value. So lucky number intent, this function tells us the skill's favorite number. So um, this skill that we made, are making, or this aspect of the skill, the lucky number intent, it only thinks that number 13 is lucky. So it's going to go into that dictionary. It's gonna go into that JSON object that, as I said earlier, those JSON objects, they get turned into dictionaries. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to extract that slot just so it's easier to remember or easier to see, it's more readable. Um, so this is what it looks like when you get it. It gets turned into a dictionary. So we're gonna dig down and find that slots and then we're gonna give it just the value slots as a variable. We're not, we're not gonna give the, the value, we're gonna assign it to the variable slots. So if slots number value, so here we go. So this number value is 13. It's important to remember that it's being returned to you as a string, not an actual integer. Um, so if it is 13, we're gonna say yes, it's lucky. Um, if not, it's gonna say no, it's not lucky. Um, gotta love those nested dictionaries, and that's pretty much, that's, that's the basics of uh, the slots. Think about them as variables. You're basically going to be designing your utterances in such a way that they have certain um, slots in them that you can fill with variables. So like, is number 13 lucky? Well, that slot is the num 13 that can be replaced with just a blank number. Think about it, it's a really good example. Let's think about it as Mad Libs, right? You have is blank lucky. And what we're doing is we're telling the computer what blank is supposed to be or what kind of type it's supposed to be. And then it's going to give us that type as a variable later. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully uh, you found this useful. <laughs> I hope you find that video useful. And if you did, hit that like button, please. And if you wanna see more, please subscribe. Any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments below. And uh, also leave down there if there's any videos you want to see me do in the future. Uh, comment and tell me in the comments below. Thank you.